Griffin, congratulations, brother. Thank you. Uh, thank way you. to get this done again. Uh, I'll tell you, Kalamazoo, you give them credit. They have a young team. They battled you guys pretty tough in the first half. Uh, talk about the halftime adjustments and what was the difference in the second half. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, you know, young guys, when they come out there, they always have a lot of energy. They got mm -hmm. high motors. So uh, we just had to make sure that we were matching that. Uh, coming into the second half, you know, we knew, we knew the mistakes we were making. So uh, just really making sure to get out to those shooters, get, get hands in their face, uh, you know, let them not hit very many threes in the second half. So that really helped us. Any pain on, left on the walls there in the locker room? <laughs> Was it pretty intense there at halftime? Yeah, yeah, but... I, I noticed mean, that I, I noticed they couldn't get it. They couldn't even shoot a three in the second half. But you guys really closed out hard. Was that part of the adjustment too? Yep, yep, absolutely. Just making sure that we're flying out there. Like, uh, uh, you know, we let them get up 17 threes in the first half. I don't know how many they made, but uh, allowing 17 and a half, uh, you know, that's that's not good enough for us. So, uh, just making sure to discourage those shots. And uh, if they're shooting at that, they got two hands in their in their eyes while they're doing it. I purchased a lot of stock, uh, a lot of Aiden Warzeka stock through the years, and it, it just keeps growing at a steady pace. <laughs> the, the guy today was on triple double watch: five points, nine boards, six assists. Mm -hmm. um, gosh, dang it! I love that kid. He, he was rewarded with a Player of the Week award again today. I think his plus minus Drew, you said, was the highest on the team, a 19 plus. Just talk about where Zeka's leadership and, and what he kind of brings to the party here. Yeah, uh, Aiden is definitely uh, the glue for our team, mm -hmm. I would think. Um, you know, playing with him for four years now, you know, he's the nicest kid in the locker room. Uh, and he's also the most intense to get in your face during practice. So mm -hmm. uh, he has that kind of a dual role. And uh, like I said, being able to bring everybody together and uh, make sure we're all working hard every day and practicing in the games. You know, Reese, I think it was a Reese last year that broke his nose. Yeah, I think Reese was wearing think, the mask. I think uh, Warzeka's probably got a lot of bumps and bruises. You guys play so darn hard, and, and you saw it in the second half today, just the effort. Uh, I wish that you would have gotten in a little bit earlier because people don't know, when you get it around the painted area, you can finish with the best of them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But, um, you know, I come here and I, I do what I need to do for my team to win. So if that's, that's the thing I wanted to say. I mean, most teams you'd be playing a lot more. I, we all know what you can do, but... You're always up cheering on your teammates. You're, you're part of this. You're, you're a member of this family just like anybody else. And you love to see it as a fan. And, and I just hope you're having fun because you deserve it. Absolutely. I'm having a ton of fun. And uh, when you can win games like this, it sure is a lot of fun. Dude, we, we're a big fan of yours, brother. Good to see you. And thank you for your yep. time. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks for sending Griff over. We're a big fan of his, and uh, good talking with that young man. He's just all about the team, and, and you were all about the team in the second half. They, they battled. Kezu got off to a pretty good start. What was the difference as the game went along? Well, those guys, Griff leads that group sure. uh, every week, and, and he's just so special of a young man. And as a player, I, I can't tell you, I, I wanted him to get a chance to speak with you guys. Um, nobody has contributed more to our culture than that young man in four years. Sure. But, uh, you know, the difference was, I think, we just had to stay in the fight. They, 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 they'll they, fight you, and they're very skilled. Um, and when you got a lot of energy early in the game, uh, jump shots become a little bit more normal, like mm -hmm. what you take in practice, what you do when you're by yourself. Uh, but in the end, we had to keep wearing them down. We had to get the ball up the floor with pace. We had to keep it on one side of the floor. The only thing we had in the scouting report with these guys is pretty much the same thing we do for most people. No middle, no threes. And we did a poor job uh, extending our defense in the first half, getting out above the three-point line. Uh, in particularly, a couple of our big guys had to take another step up. In the second half, we did a way better job of executing, getting up on that top shoulder and making them try to make plays from the baseline off of skips. Uh, I, I think that they had some good looks against it, but they were they were pretty fatigued based on having to chase cutters, and they, and they did a lot of good things. They're very, very well coached. That's a young team, um, and we're going to have our hands full going to their place in, in a month. Yeah, if you're a KZU fan, you kind of like this broadsword kid. He he fought his tail off inside against our, our front line, and I, I thought that he looked actually pretty good. Yeah, I, I don't think there's many freshmen – uh, that I have seen over the 11 years I've, I've coached in the league that are better than him. Right. I think he, he is does a lot for that team. He's the quarterback and the point guard when they run that Princeton offense. Mm -hmm. That's the most valuable guy on the floor. And then defensively, he's a really good communicator, and they had some great switches against us too that made things a little bit tougher. Um, and they really used their feet and battle around. Uh, we did a really good job in the second half of skipping the ball, yep. getting it to the other side. They overhelped a little bit, which is what we do too. So, um, you know, they... Uh, uh, I just, you know, we, we did what we needed to do. We stayed in the fight. Uh, we had a lot of plays that I think we made some poor decisions in the first half. We let them speed us up and rattle us. Um, and I, I thought the second half we played much smarter 
uh, overall. We obviously still made a lot of mistakes, especially in transition. But, uh, but I think in the half court, we were much sharper with the ball and getting it to the spots we needed to get to to take advantage of their, uh, their lack of size. I want to ask you about Riley Cox because you pushed that button early, and, uh, boy, he, he, he showed out today. I, I just felt like maybe the, the numbers weren't huge, uh, but I felt like he was a big contributor today as well, and he's kind of one of the unsung heroes of this team sometimes. Well, what you like in life, uh, you know, you, when, when you decided to marry your wife, I'm sure, and a job and and things you know what to expect every day mm -hmm. uh, Riley's a guy that comes with enthusiasm every day and competes his butt off uh, if he makes shots it really almost turns into a bonus but we know what we're gonna get from Riley and that's something that coaches it's hard to explain to your team that you know maybe this guy can do this or this guy can do that but we know the consistency of what we're gonna get from Riley he's an incredible teammate he's got good length so he can challenge shots on the perimeter even though he might be a little step behind because of his lack of experience uh, but he can go up and get rebounds. So, uh, but you know his heart's always in the right spot yep. and doing a lot of things. So, yeah, he gave us some good minutes. Uh, I think we had him out there where he got fatigued a little bit too um, in that one stretch in the second half. But, but no, we, we thought, uh, you know, he's a big key to us moving forward. There's no backup plan. You know, that's mm -hmm. the guy coming off the bench. And, and I think really the spark plug, and Bryce was incredible again making shots. He was really good defensively. Nick had a much better, more efficient second half, didn't have to try to do as much. But Emmanuel was, I mean, we had six offensive rebounds, and he scored one of them, and he got two assists for three. So uh, those are huge. They're, they're significant, and they're demoralizing because they did a real good job a few times guarding us, and then Emmanuel gets an offensive rebound, kicks it out, we get another 15 seconds. They or, broke their back. Yeah, 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 it does. And that's what you got to do, though. Uh, we're giving up a little bit against those guys when it comes to skill on the perimeter defensively. You know, it's, it's a challenge for us, but we got to make sure we make them pay for it at the other mm -hmm. end. And, and they did that, and I thought Brent did it in the second half. He, he got a couple yep. shots around the basket he was much stronger with. I give the officials a lot of credit. Um, they let the game get really physical, and they were consistent with it the entire night. I thought we learned a lot tonight about what we had to do um, against teams that are going to play us like that in a really physical game, which is what they're going to be down the stretch. But I thought it was a great crew, and uh, we were able to learn a lot. They allowed this huge crowd to enjoy a great basketball yes. game, and the flow was there all yes, night long. all the time. And there, there yep. were a couple times where, you know, you, they could have called something for us or for them, and they let it go, and like you said, mm -hmm. the flow was huge. And, yep. and um, you know, Bill Leck does an incredible job, I think, getting the guys that we get in our crew. And they're so important because, like you said, uh, the flow of the game really matters. And, and um, it, was, it, was, it was a great game all the way around. I thought it was, it was just hard fought, which yep. conference games are. Go get them on Wednesday with Alma, man. Thanks, guys. Appreciate Thanks for being you, here. Appreciate it. Yep. Thank you very much. Are we going to talk to my man Reese here? Come on. Come over here, Reese. Yeah, uh, who is done. this guy? Come here, man. Give me some of this. This guy, did you see him standing with the officials? Oh, yeah, that was I hilarious. Mean, <laughs> yeah. I, I was, I was getting, like, good What's your name, man? My name's Sean. Sean, I enjoyed yeah. you today. I enjoyed you today. Good job, Sean. Sean was right with the officials, Reese. I never saw anything like it. How you doing, bro? I'm good. How are you? Oh, uh, we love number 11. Play yeah. like 11 today, the, yeah. the first game of the year. How's this been uh, kind of as an assistant coach in this different role this year? It's great. I love it. You know, it's something I want to get into. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's kind of a d weird change, but I'm used to it now. Just leading the guys, helping them to practice every day. So you were not cleared. Says. You were not cleared to play this season from a health standpoint. Yeah. Um, I don't even want to guess how disappointing that was. Obviously, yeah. you love your brothers. So how did you arrive at this way that you could still be so heavily involved, even if you weren't playing? Uh, just being positive every yeah. day, coming to practice with the mindset of I gotta help these guys, and uh, I love this group, man. We're we're so close. We're a bonding group. Um, just coming every day and preaching to them the shit, uh, the stuff that Coach Miller says, no middle, high yeah. hands, all that stuff. So just being a leader, I've been through it for three years. So I know how it is as Hayden Jones as a freshman, stuff like that, Grand Paul, Riley Cox playing in their first year, just helping those young guys out. So I, Your enthusiasm on the bench, dude. Every time I look over there, you're yeah. up and yelling <laughs> and into it, and uh, I can tell this still means a lot to you. Yeah, I love it. Uh, I love the game of basketball, and I love these guys. So I just love seeing them succeed, and nothing makes me happier than – Bowman getting a steal and a big dunk. You might have some perspective on Nick Bowman for our listeners because I'm obviously a big fan of his and yeah. Bryce and Aiden and all the rest. But Nick's an interesting story. You know, first couple of years, his playing time was hit and miss. Yeah. He, he didn't play a ton all yeah. the time. He had a few games he didn't play at all. His junior year, he messes around and wins conference player of the year. Yeah. That doesn't always happen. Guys transfer, guys mm -hmm. quit, guys oh, yeah. don't want to put the They're like, I guess this isn't for me. Yeah. What's different about Nick Bowman where he went the other way and actually 
showed what he could really do. His work, his work, work ethic, man. I mean, he's in the gym two, three times a day. Uh -huh. Every before every game, every night he goes in here, gets shots up. I mean, he's just a gym rat. Yeah, I mean, that dude works. I've never been around a guy like Nick Bowman who works his butt off each and every day. Has a mindset that I'm going to be the best player I can be. As I mean, a basketball fan, you love to see that get rewarded. Oh yeah, it's and great. I love everything that he gets. He's earned it. Yeah, he he's, has. Got, he's been he given has. nothing. Yeah. And I hope somebody like Connor, you know, Connor's kind of in and out of the rotation mm -hmm. right now. I hope he knows that story. Yeah. Because Connor is a talented kid, too. I don't know if he'll ever be Nick Bowman. Yeah. But keep keep at it. Keep yeah. working. And yeah. you never know what can happen, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've been in Connor's position in and out of the rotation last year. That was my first time getting real minutes. And, you know, being in and out, it's hard. Right. It's hard. It, it's, it messes with your mind. But you just got to stay positive, come to practice every day, and work your butt off, man. Reese, uh, last thing for you, and uh, we'll let you get with your, your teammates here. Uh, you, you get a man. You already have a good core, and you get an Emmanuel Magnanglo just kind of dropped down yeah. in the middle of it last year. He's so much fun to watch. I bet he's fun to play with too. Oh yeah, he's incredible. Uh, I love that man. He's great. Uh, he's an incredible player on both ends. You know, he's uh, every day in practice. He's a big difference maker in our program. When I saw, you know, I saw the athleticism and his ability to block shots and everything that he does. What I've been impressed with him about too, Reese, is just the incredible effort that he plays with I mean to be that big and that athletic and go that hard and oh, have yeah. that kind of a fire that's pretty special isn't it it is being that tall and that athletic that fast bringing all the energy it's it's big it's I a mean, momentum swing it, it, it's hard work to sprint up and down the it floor is, it, yeah. it, when you're that big yep. and he runs harder than anybody I could talk basketball with you all day yeah. uh, I appreciate you stopping by you know we're a big fan and yeah. anytime you want to do anything with us on the mic just let me know i appreciate appreciate it, you brother Thanks, you i appreciate you guys reese mckenzie thank you very much brother i'm gonna let drew have the last word here uh there's so much to celebrate so much special here with this program um and you saw a lot of it today some unsung heroes making plays bryce williams uh burning the nets down uh knocking down five threes today uh cox doing his stuff uh, the junkyard dog in the middle uh, you love to see it. You love these kids. And I think Reese is 100% right. There's nothing given. you got to earn all of it. And these guys are not afraid to put in the work. And that resulted in a league championship last year. And they're on their way again this year. Yeah, man, absolutely. And just, man, I can't get enough just talking about how much I love watching this team. And also, one thing that we forgot to mention is that Nick Bowman today was named to the Bevo Francis Top 100 watch list for the best player in small college basketball. And... You can definitely. I mean, what else do you need? Right? Yeah, he's definitely. <laughs> says it all. Definitely deserves it. And by it. the way, had he not been added to the list, that would have been a major oversight. So Absolutely. I'm glad that he was rightly put on there. Uh, Drew, we're going to be back at it Wednesday. Alma's uh, going to be coming in. They had a close game tonight, so that should be a lot of fun. Yeah, that's going to be really fun, especially if they're playing all of that, man. It's going to be a nice one. Well, for all of you who live in Indiana, the Colts are eliminated. My Lions are out, so we can watch a little football and yeah. uh, maybe not have to worry about it that much, right? Yeah, not going to worry about that do you much. Have a, do you have an NFL team, Drew? Uh, other than the Colts, no. Okay, really. so at least you were close. The Lions were not so close. Uh, I, don't, I, would rather, I don't know if I'd rather have the Lions season or what we did, losing <laughs> the last two when we had really good chances. So, uh the, yeah, it's tough. The men win today here at home. The women blow out St. Mary's, almost 50 points on the win there. So a good day, happy day in Trine University campus as they get that taken care of. Fantastic job, Drew. Thanks, sir. Oh, great job working with you, and it really had a lot of fun. Uh, Josh as well, thanks for everything you do uh, putting this all together. That's it for us. Trine wins this one, and uh, we'll step aside until we're